So with our sync app link software, which has let us basically issue a set of APIs to certain app developers, they're making their apps for smartphones such that they can talk to sync. And sync can handle the interaction. You know, sync proven is proven to be that's a safe, hands-free, hands on the wheel, eyes on the road system that we have in all of our cars. But now I can use it to, instead of controlling vehicle functions, I can use it to control the apps on my smartphone. So in this case, I got a droid here running Pandora, and what you'll notice right off the bat is when I launch Pandora or open it back up, it actually has the, the systems locked out. I can't manipulate Pandora through the device. The device has to stay safely tucked away. I can put it in the cup holder, I can put it in my pocket, wherever I want to put it. If I want to do things with Pandora now, I do it through the car. My hands essentially stay right here and I can keep looking at the road. If I like fuel, which I do, um, I can thumb up the song. You know, we can do thumbs up through Pandora, it's one of their big things. I press the voice button, which on this car is on this little stock, and other cars is right on the steering wheel, but I press that right here by where my hand is. Pandora, please say a command. Thumbs up. And you'll see it's thumbed up. Or you can play the song. So I can do similar things. I can say, um, if I like the, the song Sunburn, I can create a station from that song. Check this out. Pandora, please say a command. Create station from song. Creating station from song Sunburn. And just like you would in Pandora, you can create a new station. Now, Pandora has done a couple other cool things with their app using the AppLink interface, because we also make button presses known to the app. So what they did is they, uh, I've got a bunch of Pandora stations, and they've mapped them to all the radio presets in the car. So if I want to go, check the radio, if I want to go to like, you know, preset two, I just touch number two, and it tunes to whatever station that's going to be. Shiny Happy People, some REM, if I want to listen to that station. Um, station one is usually uh, either my station or Quick Mix. And uh, just like I would on the radio in my car, all that's there. Um, let's go back to my station in this case. But same thing, I can see, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, next track, skip, you know, tune a station, make station from artist, make station from song, bookmark. And then even if I want to skip the song, I don't necessarily have to use the voice command because the skip button that's right here on the steering wheel has been mapped to do that as well. So if I don't want to hear Flyleaf for any reason, I can hit the skip button. And just like it would in Pandora, it'll skip it, buffer the next song, and start playing. Now, AppLink is, uh, we launched with three partners, Pandora, OpenBeak, and Stitcher. Um, I'm demonstrating Pandora here, but obviously Stitcher is kind of a Pandora-type service for talk radio, and OpenBeak is for Twitter. Um, we can listen to your timeline, and you can retweet things in the car. Right now, we can't generate tweets in the car, um, but then as things go on, we're fully partnering with more apps. You see a lot more coming out for AppLink. It'll all be controlled right here by these controls by your thumbs, by your voice, enabling you to keep your hands right here and your eyes out there, which is what it's all about.